Human children can use words to group objects based on function, like calling objects that are used for scooping with one name and calling objects that are used for hanging with a different name. But is this ability unique to humans? In our study, we worked with gifted word learner dogs, dogs that can learn the names of many toys naturally through play. We asked, can they extend these labels beyond how things look to how they're used? First, dogs learned two new labels, like poo and fetch, for two groups of toys based only on how their owner played with each group. There were four pool toys and four fetch toys. No visual similarities, just function. Good pull. Good pull. Very good pull. Ready? The dogs learn the label the same way children often do, through everyday play and natural interactions. Then came the twist. We gave them completely new toys with no names, but played with them in the same way, by pulling or by throwing the toy to chase and fetch. Would they apply the right label to the new toy based just on function? Upon hearing their owners asking, bring me a pool, or bring me a fetch in the test with these novel objects, the dogs had to. Remember what way of playing was connected to each verbal label with the first group of toys. Then they had to remember how the owner played with each of the novel toys. Next, they had to make the inference that the herd verbal label is connected to one of the novel toys. And based on this, Finally, they had to choose and retrieve the object to the owner. The dogs chose the correct toy significantly above chance, showing that they had mentally grouped them by function, not appearance. This is the first evidence of dogs generalizing verbal labels to classify items based on function. And this happened in a natural setup during play with their human families. These findings offer a new window into how classification linked to verbal labels may emerge in non-human, non-linguistic species and open the door to studying how linguistic-like skills may evolve and function without relying on intensive training or artificial settings. Because sometimes playing fetch might be a window to the mind.